The Sunday Independent report claims that the British Prime Minister, Mrs Thatcher, is keen to establish the possibility that Irish and British security forces would be able to engage in so-called hot pursuit of suspects in a joint security area along the border. The latest report has been dismissed as speculation by a British Army spokesman in the north. But there has been a noticeable increase in British Army activity in the South Armagh area in particular over the weekend. On the cross-border concession road between Dundalk and Castle Blaney, what's described as a semi-permanent checkpoint has been established by British soldiers a few hundred yards from the border. Yesterday, some traffic delays were reported as vehicles and their occupants were stopped and questioned. A mile away in County Louth, Gardaí, backed up by the army, were also carrying out security checks on the same road. At one stage, a trailer turned out to be carrying an unusual cargo back into the north. Many unapproved minor roads in the area are still open to cross-border traffic, but around Cross Glen there was further evidence of British troops digging into positions in the countryside. They were backed up by helicopter. Local residents say such shows of strength by the British Army happen four or five times a year and often last only a week or two. But they did point out that when the soldiers set up a permanent checkpoint alongside the border many years ago, it was attacked regularly and was eventually dismantled. I asked Cross Glen publican and former civil rights activist Paddy Short how local people would view a joint security area along the border. I, I think that's laughable too, you know. Ten miles pursuit, now we are two miles from the border. That means if it's ten miles, there'll be five miles each side of the border, you know. Can one imagine the Gardaí Shia Connor from the south, men from Kerry, that walking up and down the streets across the limb of the IUC? Or, or, or vice versa, could you imagine the IUC going five miles into the south, you know? Ordinary people, the natives wouldn't accept that at all. I, I can't see that happening.